there Virgo how are you I hope you are feeling very well within yourself and you're taking those necessary precautions you know what I'm talking about guys um, I'm here with your you versus them reading for March 2020 all right so it's to do with you and your other half somebody who you're seeing on the side or if you're with somebody you've got somebody else on the side or whatever the case may be relationship or situationship this is for you um i'm not going to do the spiel too much i just want to get really stuck into this reading i'll leave the description of it in the description box um yeah let's get stuck into this you know as usual just take what resonates we're starting off with your cartomancy and then i'm going to pull two decks of um one card from each deck from the oracle cards at the beginning and then at the end it will be another set of two oracle cards for you all right um six cards for you for the tarot six cards for your person and if there is anything um sorry guys hold on one sec sorry um if there is anything else that i need to clarify then i will all right so uh, let's do this Virgo, you versus them, March 2020. So already I've got 16. This to me is the star card. Um, it's the star, okay, star card, all right? Um, but it feels to me like this is number 16, although the major arcana would be the tower card. But to me, this feels like, um, you know, you are very much in high hopes over something, okay? Um, whatever it is that you're planning for, you're really hoping that it is going to pay off um, you can see that there is a lot of growth here there's a lot of success here you definitely want this to work in your favor you are pulling out the stops for this uh, this is a risk that you're taking I'm hearing that this is a risk it's risky business somebody's got to do it and I do feel that this is going to be where you are going to it's like a make or break okay 16 hopeful very hopeful energy sounds as well that as if you're being guided as well along the way I'm just going to pull a card here from the tarot just to confirm clarify what's going on with this <clears throat> your cards are jumping everywhere you've got the moon card so this is deep hidden um you know i do feel that you are suppressing this though you're suppressing this um the sun and the moon sorry the stars and the moon um you are it, it i mean i haven't seen i said the sun so it could mean that it, the sun card could be on its way to you eventually um but i do feel that that will mean it will be success but i don't feel that the sun is actually going to be arriving just yet because you've got the sun you've got the star card you've got the moon card and then i feel that what's going on here there's a lot of manifesting that's happening hopeful that it's going to work but you need to do sort of like an inner work with regards to preparation how you're going to deal with certain things um as you're embarking on your journey so this is very much um you sort of like taking sort of like baby steps first i'm hearing that you have to take a lot of baby steps first before you're able to really start to walk tall and strong let's get stuck into your um oracle cards i'm going to be pulling the work your light oracle card one card please spirit So we've got, yeah, the other, the ever unfolding rose. Okay. So it's got here, um, cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So the ever unfolding rose means that there's a lot that's going on here. You are a work in progress, Virgo. Okay. Um, so really what this is about is about the fact that there is a lot of going, things that's been in, it's like, um, it's a work in progress but there's you need to trust the process with this as well okay what you are hoping for there's a lot behind it okay feels to me that it's quite big it's quite huge it's going to be something that you can manage it's going to overwhelm you i feel that it's about the success and the results of what it is that you are looking to do it's going to overwhelm you more than anything okay so that's really really good that is amazing stuff um definitely a new beginning you are manifesting big time it's nothing this is not an old situation this is something that is brand new 
but you are in the transitioning period. Let's pull from the Healing Mantra deck and pull a card for you. Got your cards right here. Opening my mind. I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. This is you. Which kind of like reminds me a bit of like the moon card and the sun card as well. Sort of like radiant illumination. Okay. You see what's going on here? There's illumination. You allow yourself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. So you would definitely, this is definitely like deep soul searching what's going on here. You're really looking deep within yourself. Okay. To see what kind of, um, you know, to see what kind of, um, yeah, I'll take this as well. I don't have to take this. This is amplifying abundance. This is amplifying abundance. This is to me the, the feeling of like the star card and the sun card as well. What we've got here is um, embodying my soul. Okay, I have a right to be excited. Embodying my soul, I have a right to be excited. Okay, this is what I said. It feels like it's going to envelope you. Um, sorry, guys, just hold on one second. Sorry guys, I just had my window, my curtain sort of opened a bit and I just wanted it closed fully. So I do feel that this is sort of like you in the centre and like the universe is surrounding you with so many ideas. Um, it's like the nucleus part of you, like the, the deep inside, the central part of you. Okay, it's like where everything's happening, where the magic is happening. You have a right to be excited about it because you're going to be successful. Um, and it says abundance is my birthright and I receive it now and this is amplifying abundance um, and that's what it says on the back there which and I do feel that this is what you are doing here it's very alchemical you know really sort of like you know it's like you're doing some kind of alchemy you know to try and make something out of you know something else all right and and trying to claim it and own it as yours this is really really an exciting time Virgo I do feel that it's it it's about time it's about time that things start to turn towards you fortune is turning towards you okay now let's get started with your reading tarot cards all right we're going to start off with the deck find out what's going on here because there's an exciting kind of energy that i'm picking up for you for quite a long time you was under you know like a lot of stress strain really you got the death card so you're definitely changing this is transitional this is why i said sorry guys if i'm sounding like i'm rambling and i'm moving talking really fast here but this is exciting energy that i'm feeling right now and um you can hardly contain your excitement but what is going on here this is the transitionary period you need to kind of like take things into account with regards to your progress what you've left behind who you've left behind where are you now what are you doing where are you going okay so this is definitely about hoping for the best during the death of your old self you are definitely waking up this is you being woke you are really hoping for the best you're hoping that you don't want to ever go back to that situation again but you won't darling you will not you will never have to go through what you went through again those days are over because you've woken up now right so the next cards that i've got for you virgo interesting i'm do you know something i'm picking up and in um with the skulls on here i'm picking up a kali kind of goddess energy as well because the god the goddess would have like um should normally be seen with a necklace of skulls okay um or like severed heads stuff like this this is really it's like you are you you're definitely feeling it's like this energy of real change you're not the same person as you was before you're not the same person as you was before so I'm, I'm 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 touching on here i've got two cards that's fallen they're meant to be for you and i'm going to pull them i'm told to pull them 
once I've finished taking these out, all right? Um, because I don't feel that I need to clarify anything here. This is what I'm, I'm sensing quite strongly. This feels like it's straightforward. You, you're picking up a, and the goddess color, you need to sort of Google and see what this beautiful, most powerful, one of the most powerful goddesses, um, you know, um, within the sort of like realm, um, what she can do for you, okay? Hindu goddess, beautiful, powerful being. Um, anybody can invoke her energy as well if you know how to do it there's so much information guys just check it out on google um really death of the ego solid transformation protection as well over vulnerability um and fear it just she just takes care of everything for you you know um helps you with regards to certain situations it's like obviously this this is the hindu religion um it's like a little bit like Archangel Michael. They've got, you know, she's very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. She's like the bringer of life and death. And I feel that this is what I'm picking up on here with this Kali energy, with this death card as well. It's amazing. Very, very, I mean, this is why I'm excited because if you're going to have this kind of vibe, Kali energy surrounding you, Virgo, you're unstoppable. Um, you definitely got your hopes, your sights set on the Ten of Cups. This is what you are moving towards this is your ultimate success and your happiness you deserve this okay whatever i'm touching on here whoever whichever virgo i'm dealing with you have gone through a lot okay so this is now it's as if like yep yeah, you've passed the test so now you're going on to the next stage okay the next card i've got for you is you know the king of pentacles so you're definitely grounded this is you this is your energy well this is actually a taurian kind of energy however you are virgo all right you're an earth sign so this is you being very um contemplating what your next move is very much in this energy of like i am the provider nobody's going to provide for me i because i am the provider right you are the m magi of your own domain you are the person that has the last decision you're the, you're the you know you you have the last call you have the last say sorry in in any decision making you're the shot caller okay so nobody is going to be telling you anything right now because you have you you're good you're good you're stable you are stable you know what this is about this is also to do with your awakening 11 11 i know this is normally with regards to twin flame energy um, as I said, um, you know, this is what you're going through right now. I'm not sensing a partner here. I don't know why. I feel this is all you right now. So I don't know where your partner is in this. I feel that maybe you've just recently split up from them. And you're on your own. Or you are about to meet this person. Because I don't sense there's anything that you've left them behind, right? I think I will touch on the death card and see what's going on there. Um, let's see. Yeah, really stepping up, taking action. Queen of Wands. With this Four of Wands energy, you're taking action. You are not allowing anybody. This is why I said, like, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thank you, but no thank you. Very independent energy. And I feel that with the King of Pentacles, this is what is driving you forward. Last card. what's driving you forward that yeah you you ended something this is why i feel that you're on your own you ended a situation at the bottom of the deck we've got the queen of cups so this is about self-love self-care self-love and self-care um the two cards that fell out oh look here you go is it explains it the hermit card and the five of swords so i do feel that you was as i said for, for something you know down of the soul energy trans sorry guys oh my god <laughs> i forgot i had this um filming sorry guys i got my like hey um i do feel that this is um okay let's let's just bring it back um i do feel in all seriousness that this is the reason why i haven't actually felt anybody around you because you have left somebody behind you was in a situation before but i don't feel i don't see i don't feel you i don't feel i feel you but i don't feel your person around you 
All right, let's see what's happening to them. Let's see what's happened to them. Before I get started, let me just see what's going on. Why, why did I, wh wh what's happened to your person? Where are they? What's happening with the 10, um, sorry, what's happening with the death card? What's happening with the death card, please, spirit? What's happening with the death card for Virgo? Something, something went, but well, let me see. Please may I get a card? You wanted to start again. You, you was, it's like you was ending a lot of things. Now you've got nine there, nine of cups, one. So nine and one is 10. This is an ending. You, it's like you walked away from something that really tugged at your emotions. And I feel with this energy right here, okay, with the five of swords and the hermit card, I feel that what you decided in the hermit energy was in to conjure up and manifest your way out from this energy, from this relationship. Hence why the activation of the death card came into effect. You left somebody, right? The bottom of the deck for that is the ace of wands because you've got a new beginning. You want something new. Now let's go and see what's happening with your, you know, your missing person because they're not really, they're not here. They're not here at all, all right? I don't sense them anywhere. It's just you by, you know, that's it. Okay, guys, so let's just start this shuffling again. So what's happening in script with Virgo's person or missing person, because where are they? What's happening with them? Where, where are they right now? Because I don't see them anywhere in this relationship. So, the Queen of Wands is here. I want to find out why this Queen of Wands is here, because to me this is about... Um, this is action that has been taken. But to me, it's as if they've seen you. It's like they're seeing you in this, this Queen of Wands. All right? They're seeing you in this Queen of Wands because I don't see that as them in the Queen of Wands for your spirit. I see that as you. Why did I see that as, why did this card come out, the Queen of Wands? Okay, so it seems to me as if I've got the um, six of pentacles here. Seems to me as if they were trying to kind of match your match you, but I don't think that this was really working. Because I also see this as a side of like you weren't really there wasn't really much that was being offered. I think what's going on here is that they saw you as somebody who was just literally just sort of looking away, moving forward. But with the six of pentacles, there was a little bit of, there wasn't enough that was happening here. Like you can see like, because this is an earth sign energy, right? It's as if they were seeing you as just giving them little bits and pieces, right? But yet still, it was like you was just taking this kind of like, and you know, this kind of like image of sort of like really stepping up. And beyond you're, you're, you're leaving the behind the ten of swords indicates to me that there was a lot there were certain things that was going on here um that you guys really there was there was not happening i feel that this person was also under self-denial because i don't think they was actually seeing things in the right way okay um they are in this energy of healing right now in the four of swords a lot of um, contemplating, there's a star card there as well. So there is, there, it's like they're kind of hoping for some kind of talk, some kind of contact to come back around, or they're just being guided out from the situation, all right? Um, maybe not to reconcile with you, but to just find a way out. Let's see what the next card we have, right? Is this, 
Let's see. Why is the person of the Virgo feeling in this kind of way? Let's get another card. Yeah, deception. Deception. Because it just really didn't feel convincing enough to me that this was something that was really genuine here. Okay, it didn't feel like it was genuine. It didn't feel like it was anything that was, um, you know, and I feel that you saw between the lines, again, because this was the, the, the situation. I feel that there was deception in the home. If you was the provider, you know, it's that like you kind of held back. You scaled back. One more card for the person. I'm hearing that they ruined it all. I'm hearing that. They ruined it all. Let's see, one more card. Yeah. Um there was a there was a sense of overcoming as well. Okay. They have to overcome this. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we've got the, the struggle. The five of wands. Now, I want to know what's going on with this. Why are they seeing you as the queen of wands? Um, let's see what's going on here. Definitely, um, it seems to me, guys, as if, what they was expecting you, to, as I said, what was the, what they was expecting you to do if you was in this kind of energy of like being, you know, providing, you know, um, to give them sort of like support financially. I don't feel that you was giving it to them in the end. This isn't a marriage, by the way. This isn't a marriage. This is not a marriage. This is something where, you know, it was um, a long term partnership. The Ten of Cups is something that I feel that you were saying to them all the time. Right, so let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands here with the Six of Pentacles? What's this all about? I don't think they took you seriously. I don't think they took you seriously, okay? The card that flipped over is a Nine of Pentacles, yeah, because they saw you as being, like, literally going off which meant that they would have been single, right? Nine of Pentacles. They saw you sort of like, your attention was elsewhere. Never really facing them, never really looking at them, never, never wanting to talk to them about how your day went or anything like that. It was very much like, very silent. He was giving them the silent treatment. Um, they pictured themselves being single as well. How are they feeling with the... Four of Swords, how are they feeling? They're feeling stuck. They're suspended, okay? Um, but they will overcome this. They will overcome this. You've got this, um, the Six of Wands. I do feel, though, that there was a little bit of ego in this as well, all right? Um, and I feel that it was their ego that maybe had got them stuck into assuming that things were going to be all right between the two of you, but it wasn't, all right? Because I don't think that they realise as well, I'm hearing as well, that they don't realise that you know, or that you knew. With regards to this deception, um, they kind of overlooked that. So what's going on with this Seven of Swords? This was also about self-sabotage, trying to escape. Maybe they wasn't ready for this relationship. But whatever this deception is, you know, you, I just feel that you just didn't want to waste your time anymore. Look, you've got the uh, Seven of Wands, so there was a block. So the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands, this is definitely blockage. This is blockage. I feel, to, me, to be honest, I feel that if they was giving you the Seven of Swords, I feel that you was giving in, in the end the Seven of Wands. Because it didn't really make no sense. They felt really blocked. They felt that what they were trying to do it was to overcome. It wasn't happening. With the Four of Wands. With the Four of Wands. What is going on here? Because I said, I said, as I said, I don't sense them really around you. There is a situation with this Four of Wands. 
the strength card yeah the lovers Um, and the strength card two when it come out yeah we've got the knight of swords and the justice card this is over i feel that what they've they've had to really um just come away from this it could have ended up in a court case as well it could have ended up in that kind of way but i just feel that you was very much in this energy of like i am i i just went out of here with this manipulation with the lies with the deception as well um you were like up here they were down here or it was the vice versa there was nothing that was really holding you together at the bottom of the deck they've also got the star card as well the star card is here so there was kind of like a hopefulness it was like there was a silent goodbye there was something that was very silent about this energy as well but it was like trying to appear to make it look like it was friendly i you know it, it's, to me this really felt that you you know you guys are pretending or your person the person that you was in a relationship with was pretending to people that you were you were happy right you were happy you were in a happy household and everything was fine and rosy but the thing is it wasn't because in the end they got blocked by the seven of wands um but they've had to find the strength to really kind of overcome what's happened um, it was definitely not a happy home, but there was a lot of deception around it. People assumed that you guys were happy, but you wasn't. All right, it wasn't what it was meant. What it? Sorry, I'll get the words out. It wasn't what it was making out to be to people. And I feel this is where you you just couldn't pretend anymore, um, because remember they they've got the nine of pentacles, um, and they're they're single. And I just feel that what they was trying to hope for and to try and manifest. It wasn't ha happening. It wasn't working, right? Because I do feel that you've got a different way of thinking about things now. You've got a different lifestyle. You've got a different life, a different mindset, right? Um, which means that there, that it's just you, it's like you just woke up one day and thought, "What am I doing here?" You just woke up one day and it was just like. I'm sick and tired of the lies. I'm sick and tired of looking on my social media and she's painting a picture of how happy, you know, posting happy stuff on home and it's all, it's all a lie. Posting stuff online which isn't true on her Instagram or his Instagram or, you know, Facebook, trying to pretend to people that you're having a great time and everything is hunky-dory. Um, with the justice card as well, it could mean that you guys are divorced, you guys are having a divorce, but the fact is, is that you couldn't pretend anymore. But they were pretending. I do feel that this is what was going on. Um, the cards that I've got for you for the universe has your back is oneness is my true nature and I honour how I want to feel. So I don't think, I don't think to myself that you was actually um, being authentic. You wasn't um, in anything that was authentic to you. It wasn't real enough to you. And I feel that what they were trying to do and manipulate and stuff like that, you saw through it all and you was like, you know what, I'm done. How are we happy when you keep on posting up shit on Facebook or whatever, convincing people that we're happy when we're, when we're not? This is not a happy relationship. This is not a happy marriage. I'm, you know, it's not. We're not communicating the way how we need to, all right? So let's end this off with the Angel Answers card. But I don't feel that this person is around you, Virgo. They're not around you anymore. But right now, they're, they're just getting over things. They're over, they're trying to get over it. Um, there's, you know, they're, they're kind of being guided towards something that is going to be more better for them. Um, and they're trying to, they're just trying their best. All right. So with the angel answers, let's see what cards that we've got. Spirit, please, might have two cards. But definitely you've opened up to a whole new different you know way of thinking now and this is where you want to be you want to be standing in your truth i feel that this girl or this guy was just not happening for you um and you've got helpful people so again with this energy i do feel that this is where you're sort of like wanting that to step up step out step into some kind of new way of thinking which is going to bring you new people all right um but there's a lot of transitioning that you're doing first. Let's see. 
the next card that I've got for you okay you want to come out no need to worry so you really don't need you don't you don't really have anything to worry where you're going right now you're opening up your mind you're opening up your channels you're opening up yourself to a real um a, you know a bountiful of you know possibilities that just seem to be endless right now and this is the direction that i do feel that you really do need to be going in you're both hoping as well for something to be resolved and it will be resolved right now but i just feel that you need to be manifesting you are both being guided by the way okay remember the star card is 17 okay which is following the tower card the tower card is 16 right so i do feel that this change has already happened because of this you know the of the death card and then you have the ten of swords as well so what i'm seeing right now is what you are dealing with right now you as a person virgo but i don't sense your person anyway your person is gone um they are healing with themselves they're trying to get on with their lives it's a bit of a struggle a bit of a conflict because um there's obviously finances to take into consideration but they're working on it all right this is what i've got for you virgo I do hope that it does resonate with you. Please let me know if it does. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment as well. Virgo, I will see you next month. You know, I really do hope that things are going to work out for you, darling. But it seems to me that it will. All right? If you don't worry about anything, you're being guided. You're heading in the right direction. So, well done you. Virgo, take care of yourself, and I will see you next month. Take care. Bye.